For decades, humanity has stared into the endless cosmic abyss, hoping to glimpse something beyond comprehension. We search not only for planets and stars, but for something different, something impossible. Our machines, Voyager, Hubble, and now the James Webb Space Telescope, were sent to slice through the darkness and reveal the secrets hidden in the void. But what Webb recently uncovered may not be a secret at all. It may be a message, and worse, it might be alive. At first, Three-Eye Atlas appeared to be just another interstellar traveler, a silent rock adrift among the stars. But it wasn't merely glowing. It was pulsing rhythmically like a heartbeat. Stay until the end and don't forget to subscribe, because if this discovery is what some scientists now fear, we may not be alone, and we never have been. The James Webb Space Telescope was built to see further than any human eye ever could, to peer across galaxies into the birthplaces of stars and the edges of time itself. During a routine sweep of deep space, it detected something strange, an object moving in ways nature could not explain. A speck of light appeared where there should have been nothing. This was Three-Eye Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar object to enter our solar system. But unlike Oumuamua or Borisov, this one wasn't silent. It was speaking in a way. Webb's infrared sensors revealed that it wasn't reflecting heat from the sun. It was generating it. A faint pulsing warmth radiated from within, deliberate and steady. This was no rock. This was something active. As NASA and ESA scientists analyzed the data, a pattern began to emerge, a rhythmic thermal pulse from deep inside Three-Eye Atlas. No natural object behaves this way. Comets sublimate erratically. Asteroids radiate heat randomly. But this was controlled, deliberate, mechanical. When the Webb team compared it against known phenomena, pulsars, quasars, neutron stars, none matched. Then came the light data. The spectrum was not scattered but focused, emitting narrow energy bands used only in communication, satellite wavelengths, laser precision. Whispers spread through the labs. This wasn't a signal we had received. It was one we might have interrupted. Data scientists ran Fourier transforms on the recordings, filtering the static. Beneath the cosmic noise, they found structure, intervals too precise to be random. It was a code hidden in chaos, a message whispered across time. Some called it a beacon, others telemetry, data sent elsewhere, and through it all the pulse remained constant, unaffected by time or distance. This wasn't the dying voice of a star, it was something aware, something that wanted to be heard, or perhaps something that wanted to listen. Then everything changed. Three High Atlas erupted in light, its brightness surged by 40% in under two minutes. No natural body behaves with such symmetry. The entire structure heated evenly, like an engine awakening. And then, impossibly, it shifted course, not by chance but by intent. It corrected its path with surgical precision, aligning not with Earth but near it, threading the inner planets as though following a plan. Something inside Three-Eye Atlas had woken up, and now it was moving. The European Southern Observatory re-examined the readings, filtering its emissions for organic signatures. What they found defied reason, fluctuations resembling biological rhythms, not molecular noise, but patterns consistent with living systems. The light from Three-Eye Atlas behaved like tissue. This wasn't mimicry, it was life, or something imitating it so perfectly it was indistinguishable. Either the object was alive or it carried something that was, but then the pulse faded. Its heat signatures fell flat, its glow dimmed. Yet it didn't slow down, it kept moving with eerie precision, like a predator holding its breath. Some theorized it was entering a stealth state, hiding. Others suggested it was reacting to our observation. A chilling thought took hold. What if we weren't the first to find it? What if every time a civilization noticed Three by Atlas, it shut itself down? And if so, what happens when it decides to wake again? Soon after, disturbances appeared much closer to home. Sensors over the South Atlantic detected electromagnetic ripples synchronized with three Pornai Atlas's movements. Earth's magnetic field was responding, echoing its pulse. No comet or asteroid has ever influenced our magnetosphere from such distance. Scientists concluded the impossible. Earth and Atlas were connected. The object was affecting our world, perhaps even communicating with it. Independent researchers proposed a theory too bold to dismiss. Three-Eye Atlas, they said, was not just a spacecraft, it was an intelligence. 
not piloted, not programmed, but alive in itself, thy being born of plasma, electromagnetic fields and engineered matter, a consciousness formed in the depths of space. If true, it wasn't a visitor. It was an ambassador of a kind of life we've never known, one that moves between galaxies, sleeping within comets, waiting for eyes advanced enough to see it. And we just did. Then came the gravitational data. Three eye atlas distorted space around it, far more than its mass allowed. The curvature resembled that of black holes, but this was no collapsed star. It was smaller than a moon. The only explanation was mastery of gravity itself, controlled, directed. This wasn't propulsion, it was navigation through space-time. We were no longer looking at advanced technology. We were looking at something that had mastered physics itself, and then a fragment broke away. At first it was dismissed as debris, until Webb analyzed it. The results silenced the room. It was geometric, perfect planes, right angles, symmetry beyond anything natural. No temperature, no reflection, no radiation. It absorbed light entirely, a material unknown to science. It wasn't dust, it was design, and it seemed to be watching. Further studies of 3i Atlas revealed its rotation followed mathematical constants, pi, the golden ratio, sequences of prime numbers. Its spin wasn't random. It was communication, movement turned into message, a broadcast meant to be seen, not heard. It was trying to say something over and over across the dark. But to whom? Webb's deepest scans found something even more unsettling, organic residues in its tail. Not complete life forms, but precursors molecular frameworks capable of replication. Two theories emerged. Either it used biological camouflage to appear natural, or it carried the seeds of life itself. If so, 3 Eye Atlas wasn't just observing, it was seeding. A messenger of life. As it moved inward, magnetic readings across the solar system oscillated in sync with its pulse. Triplets, rhythmic, deliberate. It was scanning us, interfacing with the solar system's magnetic field like a handshake protocol. Communication specialists tried to respond, transmitting coded pulses. There was no reply, except one hour later, its rotation subtly changed. Not random. A conscious decision to acknowledge or to ignore. Silence as a message. In intelligence terms, this was deliberate non-communication, a statement made through restraint. Old sky surveys revealed more. Atlas's path wasn't new. It had been here before. 1987, 1998, 2013, each time accompanied by bursts of unexplained radiation and gravitational distortions. It wasn't passing by. It was looping, watching, recording, waiting. Its projected path now curves toward Jupiter's moon Europa and later Saturn's Enceladus, both worlds with hidden oceans. Perhaps Earth was never its goal. Perhaps it seeks the waters beneath the ice, the hidden life that mirrors its own. We thought we were the destination. We were wrong. Some scientists now believe 3.I Atlas doesn't speak because it doesn't need to. It listens. It observes. It absorbs everything, our signals, our patterns, our pulse. It may have been here long before us, and if it has returned, it's because it always was. The perfect observer, silent and patient. And maybe it's already sent what it's learned.